Uh, this is the target speed, and uh, it's going to become your best friend or worst enemy. Uh, just FYI, this target over here on our machine is broken. So uh, when the student when the, uh, sets up their the target speed extension distance, they want to make sure that they can be firm, low and on the ground, and actually touch the target, right? So when they actually hit the target, it's like Simon says, the light pops up. It's very slow. Notice that when the light pops up, my hand moves first to direct the tip, not, not the whole arm, just the fingers, and then I can extend and touch. And then I can recover, and it should be rather immediate, right? So um, there's a couple of things that you want you to look for in some of the beginners, and this is what they're gonna do bad. They're actually gonna place and then attempt to depress the target. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but you'd be surprised, right? So properly, they may also attempt to just extend without actually finding the target first, and their point accuracy is gonna be really, really low, right? Uh, this should be done under the supervision of an advanced fencer. Uh, you don't need to line up everybody uh, since it's gonna take about like a minute. You can just basically do a second drill at the same time, and then swap two people in and out the entire time. Um, so after they get good, good at 10 extensions or so, right, now I want them to do it at advanced distance. So we can set the, the extension distance and then recover and then recover and retreat. Uh, one thing that you may see that's incorrect is that they're gonna want to advance before extending their target, extending their arm. They'll do this and then attempt to make the attack from extension distance. That's not what I want because that means that they're coming in, exposing the target, and then, and then attempting to attack. What you really want to see is that when the target lights up, the fingers move and the front foot hits the ground at least slightly after the point hits the target. You definitely don't want to see this. Even if they begin extending, you may see them move their body forward and then extend and hit the target. So that's, that's the common mistake.